name is Jason Hainsworth. I'm the executive director of the Roots Jazz and American Music Program here at the San Francisco Conservatory of Music. I'm also a saxophonist and composer and avid video game player. I'm here to answer some questions that you all are having about the program. And let's go ahead and get started. would say a couple of things. Uh, first and foremost, uh, we are a small, um, tight-knit community of um, really talented students uh, that are being mentored by our uh, esteemed faculty. And I use the term mentorship um, uh, seriously in that regard. So all of our students are being looked after not only by their applied teachers, but by all of our faculty members, which includes Carmen Bradford, Matt Wilson, Julian Lodge, David Sanchez, Chad Lefkowitz-Brown, our artistic director, Josh Redman, um, and a slew of other great um, people as well as jazz musicians. So that's where I would start but also we foster an environment in which our students are allowed to fail um, and uh, allowed to try things and see what works and see what doesn't work and to improve upon those things. So hopefully that answers that question a little bit. We prepare all of our students not only to be just jazz musicians, because I think a, a great working musician in the 21st century is able to play a whole bunch of different styles. And I know from my own personal background, I've played not only classical music, but I've played in reggae bands, I've played in pop bands, R&B bands, um, salsa bands, Haitian bands. Um, Good music is good music. So um, the foundation of our program, which is why it's called Roots Jazz and American Music, is being able to play all of these different styles and playing them um, earnestly and in a sincere fashion to whichever genre you're playing in. So we play a bunch of different styles. And as our program continues to progress, and is shaped by the culture and today's society um, and music of today's society, our aspects of learning these different types of music will be filtered into the way we teach our students as well. Um, a positive learning environment, one, uh, again, where you're, uh, of course, attending school, but it's a fun environment. People get along. You're constantly being challenged to grow musically. Um, and, you know, I think uh, one aspect of learning in a jazz program is learning how to not only play, but learning how to um, treat people as professionals and uh, learning how to hang uh, in a certain sense, you know? Um, and it is a fun hang. And that to me is what a great uh, jazz program should be. It should not feel like you're going to work. It should not feel like you're going to school all the time. It should be about um, doing the thing that you are trying to do for a career, which is you're trying to make music, you're trying to uh, uh, make people um, want to see and hear you perform and pay money to see and hear you perform and or record. It is very um, 
supportive. It is very open to new um, types of music, new types of um, configuration. So you will hear and you will see um, various types of uh, styles of music being performed. Uh, there are quite a few places to, to perform at. Um, many of our concerts actually perform um, are taking place at SF Jazz, which is literally around the corner from our um, current building. And our students are constantly throughout the Bay Area performing um, and getting paid, you know, really well to to do so. So there's places to play if you want to play, um, which you should. And there's plenty of places to go and see and hear live music taking place, which is great. The thing that we as a faculty look for on pre-screens and even in live person auditions is um, how you interact with the band. Um, how do you feed off of the rest of the band, the energy that you put forth while you're playing with the band? Um, and also, it's not a, it's not a competition, um, especially as it relates to how many notes you play. So I'm never ever looking for, you know, the shredder on the guitar or the shredder on the saxophone. What I'm listening for is the most musical ideas that you are playing. You could play one note, but if it's that one note that makes the most sense at that given moment, then that will be just as equal in my mind as you playing a thousand notes over Countdown or Giant Steps or some, you know, ridiculously fast tune. So that's what I'm looking for, the sincerity behind uh, the music that you're um, playing. Absolutely. And we've had that happen uh, a couple of times. Um, we have a, an environment in which if you play or perform multiple instruments, um, and that's something that you really want to do. I have no problem with um, helping make that happen. And um, we have a, a, a couple of students that are studying multiple instruments right now. So that's not a problem at all. No. Uh, <laughs> you will still have to take um, what we would call, I guess, classical theory and ear training and musicianship, just like everyone else. Um, I don't even refer to it as classical because theory is theory. Um, you know, a C7 in classical theory is a C7 in jazz theory. So it's all the same stuff. Now, the way that we apply that may be slightly different, but um, the math of it is still the same. So all of our students are still required to take um, certain courses that are universal in the music realm. Um, now where it kind of differs is um, you as an RJAM student would also take um, jazz composition and arranging um, you would also take Jazz Fundamentals, which is a um, vital part of our program, you know, that teaches you uh, a little bit about voicings, jazz piano voicings, a little bit more basic jazz theory, but from the piano and those things. So, uh, yeah, I think those are pretty um, important things. All right. So I think I've answered hopefully enough of those questions that um, give you a little bit more insight about our program. And I hope to hear all of you all apply and, um, you know, stay in touch with us. 
and thank you all for checking this out. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.